Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we are going to be answering the question, what is the best way to get Deep Slate? If we take a look around in the city that we're working on here, you can see that Deep Slate is the primary building block. But if we take a look at my Deep Slate storage, you can see I have just a half a chest worth of Deep Slate. And that's definitely not enough to build anything big. The other day, while mining some Deep Slate, I thought to myself, is this the best way to do it? Or is there a more efficient way to do it? So today, we are going to be testing out the different ways that you can get Deep Slate to find out which is the best way to do it. We are going to be testing three different methods to be able to get the deep slate. The first method will be to use a pickaxe. The second method will be to use the wither. And the third will be to use TNT. And by the end of this episode, we will have all of these chests filled with cobbled deep slate. So let's get started. For the first method, we are going to use a pickaxe and I'm going to time how long it takes to fill four shortcut cool boxes full of cobbled deep slate. And for testing purposes, I am using a netherite pickaxe with efficiency five. And we are going to do four shortcut cool boxes without a beacon and four with a beacon and just see which is faster. This one could take a while. It took 69 minutes to get four shulker boxes of cobbled deep slate, which averages out to about 17 minutes and 15 seconds. Now it's time to find out whether a beacon with haste 2 will speed that up. So even though the beacon does not allow for instant mining of the deep slate, it did speed up the time a little bit. It took 55 minutes to get the four shortcut boxes of cobbled deep slate, which averages out to about 13 minutes and 45 seconds, which cuts down the time to fill up the shulker box by three and a half minutes. That's not too bad. But now we need to collect up our beacon and try out method number two. For method number two, we are going to need to summon the wither. And as everyone knows, to summon the wither, you need three wither skeleton skulls, which I don't have. Now I could wander around another fortress and try to find some wither skeletons to get some skulls, but that would take a really long time. And I don't know that that's what I want to do. That said, getting a wither skeleton skull on my first one was super lucky. I definitely wouldn't expect that kind of luck to last. So instead, I found a really easy wither skeleton farm to build and we are going to get that built real quick. And that way we can have plenty of wither skeleton skulls, not only for today, but for the future as well, because I want to be able to have a lot of beacons at some point. So I've gathered up all of the materials needed to build this wither skeleton farm. And we just need to head to the nether and find a fortress in a soul sand valley to be able to build the farm. Building that farm was one of the most frustrating processes I've done in a while, and I'm so glad to have it done. It should start to work. We'll start to see skeletons drop through here in just a moment, and hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of skeleton skulls with that, or rather wither skeleton skulls. All right, they're coming in. Let's start getting them. There we go. Ooh, look at that. All of that stuff. This is excellent. Let's see. Did we get any? And we've already gotten three. That is so fast. I've never had one of these before. This is fantastic. According to the tutorial, I should get over 100 wither skeleton skulls per hour. I don't know that we are going to need 100 to test it out for getting deep slate. So I will probably just sit here for about a half an hour and see how many I can get. So in the end, it took me about an hour and a half to get the farm built. And then I spent another half an hour collecting skulls. So with about two hours of work, I ended up with just under 60 wither skeleton skulls, definitely more than I would have got if I had just been trying to manually collect them. The farm that I built was designed by Ian X04, and I've included a link in the description down below to his video. So that way, if you want to build it, you can do so. But now what we need to do is take this soul sand and the wither skeleton skulls and head out so that way we can start mining the deep slate. So we are now back down where we were mining out the deep slate before, except this time we are going to do things a little bit differently. So I've dug a too high tunnel and the room where we were doing the mining earlier is about 200 blocks in that direction. We are going to spawn the wither in this area and then we are going to let the wither mine the deep slate. All right, so we've got the wither going. What we need to do is get it into melee mode, which is where the health is just under halfway down. And any second here. All right, so now we just need it to start getting down here so that way we can shoot it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, this, oh no. Oh no, this is bad. Where did it go? Oh, oh, ouch. Okay, disaster. This is a disaster. 
I'm gonna die. Uh. Okay, come on. Come on. Get down here. Let's go. Oh. So I forgot to set my spawn point, so I'm going to need to get some backup gear and head back out and hopefully be able to take care of the wither. All right, I've set my spawn point. I also got some invisibility potions, so hopefully that will allow us to go in and get my gear without dying. Fingers crossed. All right, hopefully I didn't lose all of my stuff. Looks like it's here. All right, let's just quickly run in, grab as much as I can. Oh. Wow. So I lost all of my gear. Uh, that was a disaster. So I lost a netherite pickaxe. I also lost my netherite sword, all of my netherite armor, except for my chest plate. Uh, and I lost my bow as well. That means we need to get some things before we can continue with this experiment. Thanks to my villager trading hall, I have replaced my sword and my bow. And after a little bit longer, I've replaced all of the wither skeleton skulls that I lost as well. The other wither that was down here has now been defeated and we're going to try this experiment once more. One thing that I forgot to do last time was turn down the render distance so that way as we move back through the tunnel, the items won't despawn. And I'm wearing my chest plate now as well. So hopefully I won't die this time. Let's get this started. We're going to place the skull there. Let the wither go. All right. Oh, I hope that this works. I don't want to die again. All right. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. All right. We got to just get it down to where it's at under half the health. Just keep shooting. Keep shooting. All right. Well, I mean, we're already getting some of the cobbled deep slate to be mined. This is good. Perfect. Come on. Oh, no. I'm out of arrows. Uh, all right, we'll just use the sword for now. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go, come on, you can do it. Mine the deep slate. There we are, all right, so now I think all we need to do is just hit it like this, and we're just gonna go all the way down the tunnel. This is working so far. So we've now collected up four shulker boxes of cobbled deep slate using the wither and it ended up taking on average 15 minutes and 53 seconds so it actually took more time to use the wither than it did to mine it with the beacon but i think the reason why it ended up taking longer is because of the amount of time it takes to mine out the hole that the wither would travel down plus then going back through and collecting up all of the blocks. So far, we have tested out two different ways of mining with a pickaxe and mining with a wither, which just leaves the third and final method using a TNT tunnel bore system. The tunnel bore system that we are going to be using is based on a design by Borkon, and I've included a link in the description down below to his video where he explains how it works. But in order to build the tunnel bore system, we are going to need a lot of slime blocks and I don't have very many. So before we can start building the tunnel bore, we need to build a simple slime farm, which will require stone bricks, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, brown mushrooms, magma block fences, trap doors, and chests. I now have all of the materials to build the slime farm and we are in a swamp. Let's get this built. We now have the farm built. I think what I'll do is let it run, see how much we are able to collect. After letting the farm run, we have all of the slime in this shulker box, in my inventory, and even some left over in the chest. The other block that we are going to need for these tunnel bores is ancient debris and I don't have any ancient debris, but I do have these netherite ingots. Hmm, let's see here. We'll put that there, put that there. We're going to go boom, 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 and boom. I may not have any ancient debris, but now I'm back to where I was before dying to the wither. To build the tunnel bores, we are going to need at least 15 ancient debris. So let's grab this flint and steel. Let's go over here and grab some of this and head back to the nether. All right, we've got a long tunnel. We've got the TNT. We've got the flint and steel. Let's start exploding things. We are back down here in the deep slate area where we've been mining and I've got all of the materials gathered up to get these tunnel bores built. So let's get started. All right, we have everything built for these and it's ready to give it a test. All we should have to do is click this note block and... Okay, that didn't work. All right, so I ended up rebuilding this system back here, but I think it's now working. Let's give it a try. We've got the TNT coming out and there we go. 
it's all blowing up. So I finished collecting up four shulker boxes worth of cobble deep slate. I wasn't able to get all of the machines to work. They kept breaking and getting out of sync. So I just went with one and even with one, it was still pretty successful. But now let's head back to the storage room and we'll see how this tunnel bore system compares to the other methods that we've used so far. So based on the results of our test so far, coming in at last place was the netherite pickaxe with efficiency five, but no haste to beacon. It took 17 minutes and 15 seconds to fill up each shulker with cobble deep slate. In third place was using a wither to mine the deep slate and that took 15 minutes and 53 seconds to fill up each shulker box. In second place was the netherite pickaxe with the efficiency five and the haste to beacon that filled up each shulker box in 13 minutes and 45 seconds. And finally, using a single tunnel bore system, it averaged out to 10 minutes and 20 seconds to fill up each shulker box. And if I had been able to use all five simultaneously, that would have been much faster. Going into this experiment, I didn't think that the netherite pickaxe with the haste to beacon was going to have that much more of a difference between not having the beacon. And since this is what I've been using in the past, I have wasted a lot of time by not having a beacon. And I also expected that having a wither would be a lot faster than what it was with it being 15 minutes and 53 seconds per shulker. That wasn't so good. But now that we figured out which is the fastest method, we still have a few chests that need to be filled up. Let's head out to the deep slate mine one more time, get those machines fixed up and mine away so that we can get these chests filled. So we were just about able to finish off of this row. We didn't get all the chests, unfortunately, but I ran out of time. And while we didn't end up filling up all of the chests, we did go from having just 1,700 cobble deep slate to over 37,000 cobble deep slate. That should get us a head start on the next project. But I think that is going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and finding out what is the best way to mine deep slate. I certainly enjoyed getting to take a look at it and I know which method I'm going to be using going forward. But for now, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And until next time, see you later.